Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Super excited today because I brought the Inventor Kit back and I got a new friend for you guys. It is Gilo. This kid is cool, man. This guy is again from the Inventor Kit, the new Mindstorms Kit. And like uh, Tricky, there's just so many variations and activities that you can do with this robot. So I'm going to actually have to break it up into two parts today and tomorrow. It's just so much. I have to break it up into two parts to show it all to you guys. Okay. So if you want to see g -Lo, stay with me. Hey guys, this is Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you love robotics and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Okay, so I'm going to break it up today into the first part and then tomorrow will be part two. It's so cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is just gradually show uh, Gilo. I actually had built the original part to this. I actually added on to the legs. There's actually a uh, beginning part to this that I'll show you in a second and then what they have you do is just continue to build and to you know be able to do more activities with Gilo so it's really cool he's got the ultrasonic sensor and the color sensor right there combined so there's different activities where you would involve the color sensor and other ones where you're involving the ultrasonic sensor that's kind of cool how they have this piece right there where it's still able to see um, you know, objects, even though it's attached in there. So it's just really cool. It's just like one of those animals. And you guys know I like walker type robots. So what I'm going to do right now is show you uh, G-Lo before I actually put the legs on. And then I'm going to show you a few activities today with G-Lo. And then tomorrow, it's a really cool one. I'm, I'm not even going to give away any secrets for tomorrow. So today, let's go ahead and just start how the initial G-Lo build went. Okay, everybody, this is the beginning stage of GLO here, where it's just the four medium motors and these uh, four tires down here. So in the instructions, I'm wondering, why are they having me take these off? And I just realized, oh, I'm just, I must be at the first stage, and then taking these off will get me to the second stage. So I just wanted to show you what GLO looked like at the very beginning stages here. So this is what you do. You end up just... You end up having uh, to watch him or her. Who knows what Gilo is? And he's just traveling along here. Kind of cool looking. You can obviously see he's going forward here. I love these walker type robots. You guys know that, right? Okay, so cool. Now that you've seen him walking like this, we're going to go ahead and continue the build. Okay, let's go ahead and get up close um, and personal here with Gilo. So Gilo is using all of these uh, motors here. He's got four motors for the legs. Um, let me go ahead and flip them over. It's kind of cool. Got those wheels for pads on the feet. And... Can I go underneath here? Real cool looking robot. Got some things here for decoration. Those curved panels, which are really cool. And I just love these teal colored pieces. So awesome. And then again, in the front here, got the color sensor and the ultrasonic sensor. So that guy will light up uh, as soon as this program starts. So we're going to start with the first activity here. Let me go ahead. And, um, they actually have you build some of these barriers here. So this first one's going to be called um, object detection. So what uh, Gilo is going to be able to do is just be able to sense that an object is there. I've put up different barriers here. Got some back here. Just want to make sure he doesn't go off the table that side. So what's going to happen is he's going to detect through the ultrasonic sensor that an object's there and just be able to head a different direction. 
So I might be moving these things as Gelo goes, just because I don't want, definitely don't want him going off the table here. So let's go ahead and check this out. there so we can Woo! Gilo's going crazy here okay so it detects that object whoa Gilo whoa so you can tell he's trying to move here my table's a little slick so head the other way Gilo head the other way So it detected that object, and he's going to turn this way. I'll keep my hand right here. Isn't that cool looking? Check him out. That is so cool. Okay, the next activity for Gelo is going to be reacting to colors. So if you guys remember this, remember this from the puppy from the EB3? So what's really cool is if you just put this, check out the, the hub right here, the color of the hub when I show this thing yellow. See how it turned to yellow? Isn't that cool? Now, Gelo's supposed to be doing a flip, but right on the carpet here, I notice it's kind of tough. Let me see if he'll do it. There we go. Isn't that cool? And what's really neat is if you show them a different color, watch that if I show them blue, see how it turned blue right there? So I think we're just having a surface issue with Gelo here. Let me show them red. See how it turned red right there on the hub? That's so cool. Um, but right now it looks like yellow is the cool color to show him. Because that's when he'll actually do this. He's supposed to do a flip. But sometimes, oh, somehow it got, got to green. Let me show them that yellow again. Come on, come on do the flip for me, Gelo. Let's try it one Come on, Gelo, do the flip. Yeah. Actually, in the video from the inventor, he's supposed to flip all the way over. So, it's kind of cool how the hub turns the color that you show it. But right now, yellow seems to be my most favorite color. Let me see if I can get him that yellow color again. Come on, Gelo. Ah, uh, he wanted to do that flip, but there you go. That was so cool. So Gelo was really cool with the color sensor in that aspect, being able to detect these different colors. And like the puppy from the EV3, be able to just react to different colors. Okay, this next one's kind of scary for me, so I'm gonna have to watch Gelo pretty carefully here. It's called Wrecking Time. So when Gelo sees an object in the ultrasonic sensor, it's supposed to charge at it and knock it over. But if you think I'm going to sit back and just watch him go off the table, you are sadly mistaken. So let's go ahead and see how this works. But I'm going to watch Gelo here. So once he detects an object, he's supposed to go charging at it. Oh. Okay, that one's knocked over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's 
see if I can give him something to see. There we go. That one's knocked over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, wow. Okay, Gilo, man, he's going crazy. Whew. Okay, I reset up the barriers over here just so I don't get Gilo going off to the other side here. So let's check this out. Gilo is a crazy robot here. Okay, knocked one over. Let's see if we can recognize this one here. A bull in a china shop, Gilo. Okay, guys, so there you have it. I mean, Gilo. This guy's crazy. Um, he's a very cool robot. Love the legs, love the walking and charging action. But man, when he gets going, you're gonna you just have to reel him in, like, come on, whoa, Gilo. So hopefully you liked it and um, you know all the features that Gilo has with the color sensor and the ultrasonic sensor being able to detect colors and being able to sense an object. So that was very cool. So tomorrow for part two, you guys cannot miss tomorrow where we turn Gilo into a bucking bronco. Uh, the inventor kit has um, little robots being uh, made and they're almost going to be like little cowboys where you put on the back of Gilo and he's going to be able to like try to you know buck them off and see which one can survive so that's going to be really cool so hopefully you like Gilo and again stay tuned for part two tomorrow okay guys because Gilo's going to be back all right okay so for Gilo and Mr. Hino we're going to be signing off okay guys I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics I'm out he's out he's out we got this we got this Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.